Hotel World. We had a little bit of a light technicality there, but we're back. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante. We're here with Stephen Fosquet. We're back for our kind of <laughs> broken segment, but we were in the middle of a killer discussion around uh, the question of you know, Dell getting you know, eaten up at the high end by Apple. BYOD, right? Why yep. it's such a... BYOD and Android yeah. and, and Windows 8 jump ball. It's like, yep. who's, who's going to win that game? And you were saying um, BYOD is a done deal. Shouldn't even be discussed. It's a, it's a must have. It's not even an issue. If anyone doesn't do it, they're dead, you know, they're never going to hire anyone, basically. No one will ever want to work there. It'll be a sucky work environment, basically what I, what I think. But, so continue, and, and yep. also expand on the fact that if Dell comes out with something tablet mobile, what can they do to differentiate besides just Windows 8? Is it a VDI, is it virtualization? What can they do at the edge of the network to take advantage of virtualization, take advantage of cloud, take advantage of converged infrastructure? So you were on the BYOD uh, yeah. piece when we were interrupted by the lights. So continue. All right, well, um, let me, uh, yeah, let me, let me just sum up uh, my opinion on BYOD, which is that BYOD is a meaningless term because that's just how things are now. Anyone you want to hire wants to bring his own device. Certainly his phone. Corporate-owned phones, done deal. Um, tablets, I think, is the same deal. Uh, you know, people, people want their tablet. They want their iPad, frankly. And, um, you know, computers... I think it's the same way. I think that more successful companies are going to be able to say, you know, we need to let people buy whatever computer they want. We need to support it, and uh, and that sucks for IT. But there you go. Um, BYOD is a done deal. Well, now, and, you, and you were saying also, if they had a clean sheet of paper, they wouldn't have what they have now. So, what are some of those changes to enable that? Because it opens up a can of worms. But it's an, it's but people are selling services around. There's a lot of mm -hmm. great growth in, in services. Dell's doing well. HP's doing well. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> people need help, right? So yeah. they got to get there. It's not the old stuff. It has to be kind of retooled. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's that's going to be the challenge: is figuring out, um, you know, how to how to make this work in terms of corporate governance. And there goes the lights again. Up. I, I bet they're switching us over well, to a different network. We're different. still live. Okay, we're still, know, still live. Still Ooh, I'm a ghost. Look at this. <laughs> the cube <laughs> after dark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep going. So. You're a little bit dark, but that's okay. You're a shadow, dark. the shadow man, tech yeah. shadow. Here the we shadow go. knows. Look at this is what we're all about. Live web TV this is, is where reality, it's reality, man. And, and the fact is, the teleprompter went down. Oh, we don't have a teleprompter, yeah. so continue. Well, I can't speak without a teleprompter. <laughs> uh, so, is Clinton going to use a teleprompter yeah, today? I hope so. <laughs> uh, no, Clinton, he's better off the teleprompter. Yeah. That guy yeah. is hilarious. Yeah, he's, I'm really looking good. forward to seeing Clinton yeah, here at the at Dell World. Um, so, yeah, so so it's still a, it's still an open question how companies are going to be able to deal with the BYOD world. Um, their mobile device management is a huge, huge challenge. Unfortunately, too often mobile device management means giving IT the power to say no instead of giving IT the power to say yes. Um, you know, I, I do a lot with Tech Field Day in the wireless space. We talk to a lot of mobility companies, Access Point, you know, mobile device management companies, and they're big challenge is basically that a lot of their customers just want to be able to shut this stuff down. And that's not a good approach. Yeah, explain that a little bit. You said give yeah. IT the ability to say no and veto power essentially, exactly. which is not a good thing yeah. in, in, your, in your premise. And, and you know, I mean, so, so one of the biggest challenges uh, you know, for a lot of these mobile device companies is that you know, corporate IT is not coming to them saying, how can we work nicely with people with iPads? Corporate IT is saying, how can we keep these mm, iPads from screwing everything up. Of course, the big the big challenge here too is that Apple is not playing nice at this game. Apple doesn't seem to care about the corporate market. Apple is not enabling corporate features. Um, they've been pretty good enabling protocols. So, like their Exchange Active Sync protocol is fairly good. Um, that enables a lot of management of the tablets. Uh, so, so they do have that stuff. They're wonderful with with Wi-Fi protocols. Apple is absolutely way out at the cutting edge in terms of implementing you know, roaming and um, you know, high performance Wi-Fi and things like that. What they're not doing a good job of is, is giving corporations the tools to have sort of sandboxed environments. Um, you know, one of the coolest things I've seen uh, in practice recently was the uh, VMware MVP, which is their hypervisor for Android. It allows you to run a virtual Android instance with corporate data and a virtual Android instance with your own data right. side by side on the same device. And, um, you know, in, in terms of acceptability to the corporation, 
I think they would love that, but it's just not happening yet. And Apple doesn't seem at all interested in enabling that. So VMware announced that, not they announced that over a year ago, oh, right? Yeah, it's just it's been, been a taking time. a while for them to ship it, is that right? Yeah, or, yeah and, and, well, and I the think uptake they just, is... They're, not just, they're just not sure what to do with it. They have this technology now that they're, uh, they're not ready to, well, they, they, they need, need to find a place for it. And it's just like uh, virtual desktop, VDI. The technology's been there for a long time. The challenge is getting customers to want the technology and getting customers to know what to do with the te technology. So my final question is really, what can Dell do to differentiate on that front and beyond into the converged infrastructure? What are some of the things yeah. that you could take? Because they have to do something. And they'll have leadership on the device. That's going to be commoditized. It'll be table stakes, in my opinion, to have a solid edge edge device of some sort, tablet and mobile. Yep. And then you know the desktops will still do you know their thing for you know power workstations, but. What, is, what can Dell do to differentiate? Because there's yeah. a real issue there. If, they, if Windows 8 craters and doesn't just go up, you can have Android coming in, other OS's. So what, what do you think they should do to differentiate? What's, what's yeah. the opportunity? Well, I think Dell, um, if I was to give Dell any advice, I would say adopt a strategy of being the provider of totally client agnostic IT services and solutions. Basically, Dell should offer, they should continue to, 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 to charge forward on mobile device management, on virtual desktop, uh, you know, I've seen some fabulous, fabulous, you know, ubiquitous desktop uh, demos from Dell. Um, they should basically say, we are not going to lock you into Windows. We are going to embrace Android. We're going to embrace iOS, and we're going to allow IT to do to, to to move forward in this new scary world of BYOD and of iOS and of Android. And frankly, that's going to require Dell to say, I'm sorry, Microsoft, but you know, we have to step yeah. back from you. We, don't, we, can't, we can't love you as much as we used to. And some of our research that we've done is around enterprise mobility is that it has to be software driven because you, ha you have enterprise mobility requirements on a consumer device. So that has to be done in software, right? So you yeah. have to have that. And, and interesting, there was a, a story that broke this week that uh, in the support documents, it was leaked that Microsoft supporting iPad, Office on the iPad and mobile. So yep. interesting. So you know, we're seeing Microsoft recognizing Smart, the BYOD yeah. is happening and uh, it's awesome. So yep. DFOS get organizer of Field Day here with me and Dave Vellante on theCUBE. Uh, good friend, SiliconANGLE contributor, uh, doing great work, uh, expert, contact DFOS get at, uh, what's your URL for well, your website? Uh, yeah. Blog.fosgets.net, and you can also find me at techfieldday.com. Uh, thanks for coming Fosgets, on theCUBE right? and sharing your uh, knowledge with the world and extracting the signal from the Dell world. Yep. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.